Welcome. This is the Integrated Math 3 Practice Test 410 Ready. Question number 18. We are in subpart 2, so calculators are allowed. That's a bonus. Uh, rewrite to find an equivalent polynomial expression of the quantity 24x to the 4th minus 72x cubed plus 54x squared minus 12x over x minus 2, where x is equal to is not equal to 2. Why does that matter? Well, because you can't have 0 in the denominator. So the idea is if you have 2 here, 2 minus 2 would give you that, which would make it a restriction in the domain. You can't divide by 0, silly. Anyway, write your answer in the space provided in the answer document. I'm going to solve this two ways. This is a division question, because that's what a fraction is. I'm going to do synthetic division first. And if you want to stick around for long division, feel free to do that. I, I know that most people will not, and they'll just kind of dump out and move after synthetic, and I'm cool with that. But I wanted to put the shorter one first. The big thing about doing synthetic division is it requires you to use a solution and not a factor. So we need to change this into a solution. This is what we use for synthetic. This is what we use for long division. So I'm going to go ahead and put the two here. Then all of these parts, 24, negative 72, 54, negative 12, and 0. Bring the first one down. Negative 24. Uh, negative 48, because I'm doing 2 times negative 24. 54 minus 48 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So we cancel out and cancel out here. What this means is you might want to have some sort of setup so you know that this would be the remainder. This would be the constant term. This would be x, x squared and x to the third. Because if you put 24x to the fourth here because you forgot, that would be a big problem. So it's probably in your best interest to go ahead and put the zero, even though there's no constant term here, and remind yourself this is the remainder. So putting this down below and start building it from the remainder out, this is the constant term, so it would be plus zero, whatever. So you could have 24x to the third minus 24x squared plus 6x and you could put plus zero if you want to, but it's not really required. So you would be done right here. But I think the key issue to this one, uh, there's two issues I think that are key. First is that when you do synthetic, you are using a solution. So make sure that you convert your factor to solution. The other part is that you need to have it set up in a way so you can recreate this equation. Most of the time, they're just asking you about remainders, but that's not what they're doing here. They're specifically interested in what the other factor would be. So essentially you'd have this times this and it would give you this. So when you set it up, put your remainder at the end, make sure that you fill it all the way out with a constant term down here. Write the r under here so you know this is the remainder. So the next one would be the constant and then it's the x squared term, or sorry, x term, the linear term, quadratic term, cubic term, so x squared, x to the third, and then on up. Setting it up like that will make sure that you match these in appropriately uh, in a not inappropriately into each other appropriately you'd match them right I guess long story short now for those of you who don't need anything else you're good to go if you want to see long division here we go long division the thing about long division is that you do not have to convert it into a uh, solution form you can use the factored form here the downside is everything else especially if you're on a timed test now that's not to say you shouldn't use it, it's just to say if you're comfortable with it, that's what you should do. But you could save a little time doing synthetic if you are comfortable with that. If you're not, whatever. I'm not your life coach, you choose what you want. So I need to eliminate 24x to the fourth. So this is 1x and I have to wait till I get to here because I have to eliminate both these because there's this minus 2 here. So it's 24 and then I need to get rid of it's x to the first so I need 3 more. That's a definite thing. Now it's 24x to the third times x, so it's 24x to the fourth, minus 24 times negative 2 gives me negative 48. Here's the thing. 
I am a very visual person, and if I see, like I know this is supposed to be 24 minus 24, but if I see this negative 72 and this minus 48, I think they're both negative, so I'm going to combine them in that way. But I know in my head that I'm supposed to be subtracting it. So I always, at this point, go ahead and put the minus sign here and change any other sign. It just makes it visually much easier for me to understand what's going on. Now, you don't have to do that, but for someone like me, it makes a big difference. That way I don't get lost in the ether. So those cancel. I end up with negative 24x to the third. And bring down this. So I need to get rid of this. So I'm going to look over here and say, oh, there it is, negative 24. And this is x to the first, and I need to be eliminating 3, so I need to put a 2 here. So negative 24 x squared times x gives you negative 24 x to the third. Negative 24 times negative 2 is positive fifty oh sorry forty eight. What am I thinking? Sheesh. I'm looking at other parts of the problem while I'm talking. That's dumb. Alright, again, this is a subtraction question, so I'm going to change the signs so that I don't mess up later. I've already done a little messing up by zoning out in my own problem. Looking at other stuff, really. I'm trying to think ahead. That doesn't always go well for me. Anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of subtraction right here. Uh, 54 and 48, I'm working with uh, 6. I'm just trying to get rid of 6x squared, so uh, I'm going to multiply this by positive 6 and x because I want to get rid of it. I already have one x, so I need another x here. Bring that down, 6x squared, and then I do 6x times negative 2, and I get negative 12x. And again, for me, I'm going to change the signs because that's just how I do things. Cancel that out. This also cancels. So I end up with a remainder of 0. So my answer is 24x to the third minus 24x squared plus 6, uh, or any other form you want. If you wanted to go ahead and uh, have 0 and do time plus 0 here, that's fine as well. But two ways to do it, synthetic or long division, sort of pick your poison. But remember, the upside to long division is you don't have to change it to solution form. You can use the factored form, and also uh, you, everything's sort of organized in a visual way with the uh, variables being with the coefficients as opposed to synthetic division where you sort of have to remember how to align those coefficients with those variables.